Hey, Steve Stein from Guitar Zoom here, and today what I'd like to do is show you something that's really cool to add in if you are learning how to play, for instance, pentatonic, which people mostly start with, um, but you're looking for something a little more melodic. Uh, this is a really great thing that when you look at players like, again, Steve Vai or Joe Satriani or any of those kind of players, this is a little, I wouldn't call it a trick, but it's a little thing that you can add into your minor pentatonic uh, to make it sound a little more melodic. Okay, and what you do is you just take your standard, I'm going to do this in A, we take our standard A minor pentatonic. And what I'm going to do is add in a note that we refer to as a second or a ninth. Now again, if you don't know what that means, don't stress out about it. But basically what I'm going to do is add in one more note into this pentatonic. So the five note pentatonic is now actually a six note scale. And the way this is going to work is... I'm going to find the root of my scale, which is A. Now, normally I'd play 5, 8, 5, 7, 5, 7, and so on. Well, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play 5, 7, 8. So the note that I'm adding in is a whole step higher, two frets higher, than the A. So instead of just playing 5, 8, I'm playing 5, 7, 8. Notice it begins to sound a bit more melodic because for the first time this pentatonic scale now has what we call a half step which is the distance from seven to eight now it sounds fine down here but it sounds even cooler when you move into the thinner string so let's take a look at this uh, moving from the, the seventh fret of the uh, fourth string here this a now normally I'd go from this seven to this five but what I'm gonna do is play five or excuse me seven four five so I have And that sounds really nice. Okay. And if we take it up yet another octave, we can go up to this A. And now it's going to be on the seventh fret of this of the uh, first string here. So what I like to do, if I think about it, I've got and and that's where they are. So what I'll do is I'll kind of connect them together. When I'm playing. Now you'll notice as I add this new note in, it is making it more melodic. You just have to decide when you'd want to use it. Just because it's available doesn't mean that we're always going to use it. You know, might still want to play some regular pentatonic stuff. But then decide that I want to add that in. So because it's an option doesn't mean that you're always going to use it, but it certainly means that it can open up the door a little bit to some more creativity in your playing that you may not have had if you've never thought about that before. So this is a really great note to try and kind of explore. It works great in blues, it works great in rock, it certainly works great in metal, um, you know, things like that. And of course we're using A minor pentatonic as our example, but you could move anywhere you wanted to and, and it would work there as well. So take care, stay positive, keep practicing, and I'll talk to you soon.